Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Alia Shabita a designer student ID 2022-61164 and today we will talk about application of differentiation for analysis of function 1 and 2. So first of all, what is application of differentiation? Application of differentiation is the analysis of a function in the context of differentiation refer to the process of studying the properties of a function and its rates of a change. Differentiation is a method used to compute the rate of a chain of a function with respect to its input. It involves finding the derivative of function which gives the rate of a change of the function at a particular point. This process is a fundamental in calculus and is used to solve various real world problems involving the rates of change, optimization, and approximation of a function. Next is the problem statement. In this problem statement of analysis function, we need to solve a question based on the coordinate and plotted it in the graph. To find the coordinate, there are some steps that need to be solved. First one is find the x-intercept and y-intercept, find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes, determine the interval where it's increasing or decreasing, determine the interval where it's concave up or concave down, find the inflection point, and lastly, sketch the graph. For the first question is given the fx equal to negative x over 1 minus x plus 4. The first one is S intercept and Y intercept. To find the S intercept, we need to let Y equals to 0 and substitute the Y equals to 0 in the FX function. So we get the coordinate 4, 5, 0. For the Y intercept, we need to let X equals to 0 and substitute the X equals to 0 in the FX function. And then we get X equals to 4. So the coordinate is 0, 4. For vertical asymptote, we need to let 1 minus x equals to 0 and then we get x equals to 1. For horizontal asymptote, we need to use lim fx as approaching to positive infinity of the function and then we get 5. And then we use lim fx as approaching to negative infinity which we get 5 also. So the horizontal asymptote is 5 while the vertical asymptote equals to 1. Okay, uh, so first we need to find first derivative of the function by using equation rule. So based on the equation, let like u equal to x, u prime equal to 1, v equal to 1 minus x, and v prime equal to negative 1. So we can in the formula f prime x equal to v u prime over u v prime. Um, v u prime minus u v prime over y squared so f prime x equal to negative 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x negative 1 so over 1 over x squared plus 0 so f prime x equal to negative 1 minus x plus x over 1 minus x squared plus 0 so f prime x equal to negative 1 over 1 minus x squared so let x let's 1 minus x equal to 0 so negative x equal to 1 x equal to 1 so f prime x equal to 0 so negative 1 over 1 of minus x squared equal to 0 so negative 1 equal to 0 so actually we can see that x has no solution and no extreme point so for the table in interval uh, for the interval from negative infinity to 1 this value is 0 1 of uh, 1 to infinity is 2 and sign from fx is negative and for the slope is decreasing value for the two of interval to find concave up and concave down first of all we need to find the second derivative of negative x over 1 minus x so equal to negative 1 divided by 1 minus x uh, minus 2 so equal to 1 minus x negative 3 minus 1 so um, negative 2 divided by 1 minus x negative 3 so the final is negative 2 2 
uh, over 1 minus x cubed. So let f uh, prime x equal to negative 2 over 1 minus x uh, cubed. So 1 minus x equal to 0. So negative x equal to negative 1. So x equal to 1. So for the, uh, for the interval from negative infinity to 1, this value is 0. From 1 to infinity is 2. Same from f prime x is uh, for interval uh, for interval negative infinity one is mine uh, is plus and for one up to infinity sign from f prime x is negative so for the slope negative prime uh, negative infinity to one is concave up and one to infinity is down so concave up equal to negative infinity to one and concave down equal to one to infi uh, positive infinity. So the next step, we move on to find the inflection point. So when x equals to 1, we have 1 equals to negative 1 divided by 1 minus 1 plus 4, and we get the inflection point is 1, 2. So based on the graph, we can see that the vertical asymptote is equal to 1 and horizontal asymptote equals to 5. Uh, in, the graph, in this graph of asymptote, the line, the graph line will not, will not touch with the asymptote and it, as it approaches to infinity. For the next problem statement is the second question. Given the function neck equals to negative x cubed plus 9x squared minus 24x plus 2, we need to find the x-intercept and y-intercept, find the derivative of fx, find the critical value and critical point, construct the interval table, find the interval where the graph of fx is increasing or decreasing, state the maximum point and minimum point, find the second derivative of fx, find the inflation value and state the inflation point, and find the interval where this graph of fx is concave up or concave down and lastly we need to sketch the graph to find the x intercept and y intercept for the function negative x cubed plus 9x squared negative 24x plus 2 to find the x intercept we must make y equal to 0 after that we factorize the function we got and then we let the x to the subject. After that, we got the answer x equal to 0 0.086. To get the y-intercept, we must let the answer we got that is x equal to 0 0.086 and substitute it to the function negative x cubed plus 9x squared negative 24x plus 2 and then we got the y is equal to 2 to get the first derivative of xx from the function negative x cubed plus 9x squared negative 24x plus 2 we must differentiate them and then it's become negative x squared plus 18x negative 24 plus 0 and then after we add the negative 24 plus 0, it's become negative 24. And then we got the answer negative 3x squared plus 18x negative 24. How to find the critical values and critical points? First, we must let the f front x, that is the first derivative of x, x equal to 0. And then we must factorize the function. After that, we let the x as the subject. In this equation, we have 2x that is x equal to 2 and x equal to 4. How to get the increasing and decreasing value? First, we must make a table that contains interval, test value, times sign x, prime x and slope. So, the interval must get from the critical points and critical value. So we have three interval that is first is negative infinity 2, second is 2, 4, 
factor is 4 infinity. The test value must in the range of the, these three intervals. And the sign from fx must get from the substituting the test value to the sign x prime x. And the slope is referring from the sign x prime x. So the interval of increasing value is 2 4. Interval of decreasing value is negative infinity to union with 4 infinity. How to get the maximum and minimum point? We must use the critical value and critical point answer. So, after that, we substitute the answer to the function. And the x4, we got the answer is negative 14. And x2, we got the answer is negative 18. So, the maximum point is 4, negative 4. And minimum point is 2, negative 8. How to find the second derivative of xx? First, we must differentiate the first derivative of xx. That is negative 3x squared plus 18x, negative 24. After Differentiate, we get the answer that is negative 6x plus 18. How to find the inflection point? First, we need to let the x from the second derivative as a subject. So we get the answer x equal to 3. And then we substitute the answer to the function. So we get the answer negative 16. So the inflection point is 3, negative 16. For concept up or concept down, first we use the second derivative of the function of the first derivative and substitute it, and we get x equals to 3. So for the interval table, we use negative infinity to 3 and 3 to infinity. The test value here is 0 and 4. So for, so for the sign from the second derivative, we got neg positive and negative. So the concave up is negative infinity to 3 and the concave down is 3 to infinity. So by gathering the information of the maximum point, the minimum point, the inflection point and the y intercepts, we can find the graph that looks like this. So the conclusion about this topic is we can determine the concavity of a function by examining its second derivative. So the second one is to determine the intervals where a function is concave up or concave down. And the last one is it also includes methods for graphing and finding zeros. Here in this topic, we have started with the fundamental concept of differential equation, some real life applications where the problem is arising the and explanation of some existing numerical methods for their solution. We have also presented some basic concept of neural network that is required for the study of this topic.